What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Dirt Nation Off-Road. So today, I'm it's windy. See my Ms. Way. As you can tell by the wind, take, take a wild guess. Ah, it's in the title of the video, it's TDS 2022. Time has come, we're back in Ocotillo Wells. We've already got ourselves set up at camp because we were out here last night. Came out, did normal TDS things, more of what you're gonna see in this video. We're out here on Saturday and we're gonna be here till tomorrow. So we got a whole day worth the fun we got a few people we want to check in with we got a few places we want to see obstacles we want to check out and uh all those good things so everybody's waking up we're gonna have some breakfast uh we got a 10 a.m meet up at the obstacle course with uh everybody else that's where we put our flyer out and everything so we'll check in once we get like an idea who's here and we're gonna get started with the normal ocotillo shenanigans if you guys first time here you'll find out you'll see what it's about but let's get started
to go back. Oh, look at that. You can see me. You can see me. I had to stand all the way back here. Get the full, the full say hi to Burrow. Look at that. Are we like YouTube? Look at that. We're like trail recon, dude. We look good. We look cooler. We look well. It's a 35 millimeter lens with 1.8 aperture. You know, I'm throwing a lot of fancy photography words out there, but it's lunchtime. The wind has died down a little bit. We're getting some food. Bryce wants uh, <laughs> some cake. Bryce wants cake. Sam burgers. Uh, he wants Sam burgers and cake. We're doing lunchtime. I'm gonna get the drone up since the wind has died down a little bit. We're gonna do all that stuff. And then uh, we're gonna continue on. The waterfall's coming up next. You guys stay tuned. We're gonna link up with the Zuzu Mutter, some of the crazy crawlers, and then see what we break next. Let's get it. Give me the reveal. Oh, Give me the reveal. Oh, Open it. Open it. What do we got? Is oh. it chicken? Is it asada? Ass asada? Asada? Costillitas. What's that mean? Ribs. Ribs. Riblets. Riblets. Little ribs.
Fuck. That's three wheel drive. Woo! It's gonna be the fucking King of Hammers Razor. That's what I said, chocolate. <laughs> As I ramble, you guys get to enjoy some bonus content from the first night that we came out to TDS. You guys get to watch us completely struggle on the tires, which is very, very typical Dirt Nation fashion. We can go hit all the hard stuff at the obstacle course, sluice, $1,000 hill, other stuff, no problem. But we get to the tires, and somehow we all struggle. A couple guys made it up, but as as you know, we, we always have a good time at the tires, but... Um, good stuff now before i go i actually want to take a second to to ask you guys for some feedback um if you guys noticed in this video things lo might look a little bit different i actually tried out a new camera setup same camera but a different lens and some different settings as well as some other settings on our gopros in order to try and uh, get like a higher quality video now it has its trade-offs as you guys saw like some clips you know it's gonna have some some struggles but I'm curious what you guys thought of the video I'm curious what you guys think of the quality as well as the editing style because I've been trying some new things with the videos just to see where we can continue to improve our videos so definitely look forward to seeing your guys's comments on that feedback is super duper important you know like this this editing stuff this is what I love to do and I always want to get better at it and make the best absolute videos for you guys out there so definitely shoot a comment below 
give us some feedback and we'll go from there. Now, next order of business, let's talk about TDS. This was a super duper fun event. This is now our fourth year covering TDS with Dirt Nation Off-Road and it has continued to get better and better every single year. Now we've had some really, really fun years, but this year was just great. The off-roading was great. The vibes were great. You know, we didn't have too many bad breaks. We didn't have any drama, nothing too crazy. It wasn't like King of the Hammers and this ain't no knock against King X. King of the Hammers is great. Love King of the Hammers. Johnson Valley is like the best place to go off-road, but that place gets crazy, it gets rowdy, and TDS has kind of calmed down the last couple of years, and I, I really appreciate that because now those of us that don't want drama, don't want bullshit, can kind of just come out, have a good time with our families, with our friends, and kind of just get rowdy in our own way. But definitely was a good time. Looking forward to coming back out here either in the near future, before summer, or perhaps after summer for our big Patreon run in October. But we are all done here for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Patreon. You can also hit us up for shirts, hats, hoodies, and all those other goodies, dirtnationoffroad at gmail.com. Until next time, thank you guys. Let's get it.